While TwitchCon revealed plans for messaging and deals with the likes of PlayStation, you may have missed the Cyborg Drummer, a weather forecast in a box, and the world's largest 3D printer. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where standing in line like a lemming for a new iPhone probably means you need suggestions for what to do with your old one, fickle jerks. I'll never let go. Designers unveiled the world's largest 3D printer on Friday. It's called Big Delta, currently lives in Italy, and stands 40 feet tall and is 20 feet in diameter. The idea is it can build mud huts for quick emergency housing, or be of use in countries where it can help solve a housing shortage. Maybe it can start in San Francisco, where rents are now higher than New York City. Creators say Big Delta only uses 100 watts of power to build a house, which if true is double the power an electric blanket uses. We'd like some proof. Sometimes Googling the weather is just better than checking it on TV. You may be heading off to Rio where there is going to be some glorious sunshine. Not without caffeine. Or you could just get a Teposcope, which is about to go up on Indiegogo. It's a box that displays what the day's weather will be from cloudy to thunderstormy. It gets its data with a link to a weather forecast app. Its founder first created it to mimic the weather he missed from home. I released the first Tempiscope three years ago as an open source project uh, when I was looking for ways to feel the tropical skies in my daily life. Here's the thing. Gadgets to foretell coming storms have been around for hundreds of years, but they were called storm glasses. Filled with a mixture of liquids in a sealed glass container, a version was reportedly used on the HMS Beagle when Charles Darwin was on board. Figures, right? After a work accident took his right arm, drummer Jason Barnes set out to drum again. That's when a Georgia Tech robotics professor stepped in. I, I really saw the potential. I saw, wow, we can really make something amazing from that. Now Barnes is playing on not just two sticks, but three. He controls the robotic arm's tempo by flexing muscles in his upper arm, while the prosthetic's other drumstick is programmed to listen and improvise. Barnes is now touring with a robot bandmate. Of course he is. And now, TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you because we care. Apple had to scrub its app store because of Chinese malware. Uber rolled out a new car sharing option called Uber Commute. The White House declared broadband a core utility. Instagram hit 400 million users. And Pebble introduced a new smartwatch actually sized to fit a woman for once. That's all the weird for now, and we will see you next Tuesday. Bye.